Meta platforms rallied last week despite comments reported in the Wall Street Journal that U.S. senators believe social media apps, such as Facebook and Instagram, need more regulation. Meta Platforms is looking to the future, however, and is to give over 18s in the U.S. and Canada a taste of the metaverse by offering free access to its Horizon Worlds VR experience, which until now has been in an invite-only beta. Amazon has settled a lawsuit regarding the advertising and sale of goods that falsely claimed to be made of cashmere and was separately fined 1.1 billion euros or 1.24 billion dollars by Italian antitrust regulators who ruled that the firm had abused its market position by steering online shoppers to its logistics service to the detriment of other providers. In its outlook for 2022, Deutsche Bank suggests that U.S. companies will face tougher competition scrutiny next year, and tech giants could be in the firing line, with pressure coming from both labor and regulators. Amazon is to retire one of its longest-standing services, Alexa.com, not to be confused with a digital assistant of the same name. Alexa.com provides users with competitor analysis, which allows them to better reach and serve online customers. Speaking of online services, Amazon Web Services, which manages the company's cloud computing business, suffered an outage on Tuesday that disrupted the websites of many of its customers who experienced slow loading or failure. Apple's market cap hit $2.86 trillion last week, and the stock is now thought likely to be the first company to reach the $3 trillion mark. Morgan Stanley has named Apple as its top pick for 2022, saying that the combination of a strong, loyal customer base and the upcoming launch of AR, VR products positions AAPL for a re-rating in 2022. Not everyone shared that enthusiasm, however, and rival bankers Barclays said that a new pop-up search app developed by Google could pose a threat to Apple's advertising revenues. Netflix shares remain down, and the sell-off has created a buying opportunity, according to analysts at J.P. Morgan, who pointed to new content in December as a driver for subscriber growth and reiterated its overweight recommendation for the stock. Zach's research wrote about Netflix this week, highlighting the opportunity that low-cost mobile plans in the Asia-Pacific will represent for the company. Zach sees these plans as a great way to grow subscribers in the region, calling Netflix the dominant player in the streaming space. Alphabet featured in the Wall Street Journal recently, with a paper highlighting the level of insider selling at the company, with founders Larry Page and Sergey Brin selling tens of millions of dollars worth of stock during November and December. The journal flags that the leaders and founders of major U.S. corporations have sold stock worth $63.5 billion during the first 11 months of 2021, which was 50 percent higher than the 2020 figure. The Alphabet founders have each sold approximately 600,000 shares in 2021, raising $1.5 billion apiece. Whether those sales have created a festive feeling among top management at Alphabet and Google isn't clear, but the search engine announced that it will pay a bonus of $1,600 per employee this month. Happy holidays indeed.